Hi everyone, it's Raina. So this video is for those people who have their natal Jupiter in the sign of Aquarius. And this is going to be uh, an interesting one because it's, you know, off the beaten path. Well, what do you expect with Aquarius, right? So Jupiter is a planet of opportunity or luck, if you want to call opportunity that, and growth or expansion. And so Jupiter increases, creates abundance with everything that comes in its path. It's really important for you to find out what house your Jupiter resides in your natal chart. Don't just look at the sign because then it's going to be less personal to you than the house. The, the sign of Jupiter in Aquarius is going to occur for you and those who are born in within about a year of of you um i i didn't i'm not putting the dates of all of the um the jupiter signs but uh, you can look that up very easily just look for jupiter tables and um in any way um this can indicate where your blessings lies but we can we can definitely say with the sign that Jupiter is in that there will be those uh, possibilities as well so in the case of Jupiter in Aquarius we have to look at what house Jupiter uh, Aquarius rules and Aquarius rules the 11th house which is the house of the collective so somebody with uh, Jupiter in Aquarius is somebody who finds the social life to be very easy for them to navigate. You may meet friends and make acquaintances easily and these people they may be from different walks of life. Uh, the typical areas will be through political or activist organizations, alternative living, I think would be a big one, artists, people who kind of defy convention, especially. And this is because Uranus is a planet of unpredictability and unconvention. I can't, I, I, is there a word unconventionality? <laughs> um, being an individualist and um, because of the influence of being part of a collective, um, you may even be interested in communal living, in having that kind of a tribe where you are with other people and perhaps raising families together and connected that way. You're definitely blessed by these kinds of relationships rather than material things because I don't think that um, I can't say all of you but some of you may not be concerned with the material that much Aquarius is associated with hippies and that was one of the main uh, things that hippies rejected were the bourgeois um, materialistic values that they felt that their parents uh, were immersed in and so those kinds of activities that we saw in the late 60s and early 70s such as communal living um, and um, free love if you will not being tied down to one particular partner these kinds of th things and, and non-materialism are definitely something that I would associate with Aquarius. It's really about the utopian type of society, if you will, of creating this society that honors everybody, that is egalitarian, that doesn't have uh, certain people that, that are more important than others. So um, I guess, you know, one criterion that may really attract you to other people is if they are free thinkers, if they think outside of the box, if they are nonconformists. 
and and that kind of thing. But I do I do look at Aquarius and by extension the eleventh house as the area of um, utopia or people who are interested in that idealistic form of society. We in our Western culture where I am uh, living and where I've always lived really um, emphasize the individual and the this is kind of like the paradox of the sign of Aquarius is that on the one hand it rules groups it rules the collective but then by the the on the other hand uh, which contradicts this the person wants to be an individual they don't want to be like other people they don't want to be um, just one one person in a group they want to stand out not egoically in other words not to show off or anything like that but I think it's more of being an inspiration and I think that this is especially true when Jupiter is in Aquarius because Jupiter is a planet of philosophy and so people who have this placement are going to if if you want to be um demonstrating to other people that you don't have to live life in one particular way that there are other that there are alternative ways to live life and alternative ways to do everything whether it's a relationship whether it's your living quarters you know you don't uh, everyone doesn't have to live in a traditional type of house uh, you can live in a yurt you can live in a, a tiny home or you know whatever um it is a commune, you know, uh, you don't have to live alone. You can live with other people. You, you can have, uh, more than, um, one other person in a serious relationship. I think it's more instructional and inspirational and that's from the Jupiter influence. And, um, this the other thing too is that you are going to be um blessed if you gravitate towards um situations that are full of tolerance and liberality progressive values it's important not to attach um political affiliation to this though because this can be like a very um, hard lesson to learn that people can label themselves one thing, but their behavior shows differently. I could totally see somebody who has Jupiter in Aquarius who may be quite um, surprising to others politically because their uh, stances are quite individualistic you can't put them in a box and this likewise is a form of demonstrating that in being uh, unique human beings we don't have to follow some kind of prototype that has been laid out before us we can um, embody very specific ideas that are important to us that may not follow um, a template and this could be like your political views this can be your uh, views on spirituality because again Jupiter is going to rule that area of philosophy and God and somebody with Jupiter in Aquarius may have um, a quite different way of um, seeing divinity and um, this can be like something which butts up against people in their uh, immediate environment. Um, I would say too that somebody who is um, who has this placement in Aquarius specifically may gravitate towards groups of people who exhibit um, intuitive gifts because um, Aquarius is all about that so 
it may be some kind of very unusual type of a group that is about um, energy healing or, or something like that. And it doesn't have to be like a, a in, in other words, it doesn't have to be like an organized religion, but the beliefs of the group ha have things to do with, you know, um, you know, I was going to say telepathy, but I meant more like the uh, energetic uh, transferring of energy, energetic transferring of energy, uh, telepathic transference of energy, like Reiki healing, or um, being a shaman, and things like that. So not the cookie cutter uh, religions that maybe people around them follow. And, um, you know, we have to talk about what can happen if the person does not have this kind of uh, freedom in their life. Um, if this person, due to other kinds of, um, you know, their surroundings, is in a very conservative environment. Conservative, again, this is not politi politically um, specific to one, you know, group, but just saying that it's not very, um, it's, it's very like, uh, into the, the traditional way of doing things, um, very conventional environment or surroundings. This person may feel very, um, trapped and, um, that can help them in a weird way because I'm, I'm getting this information from the codex astrology.com and I'll just read exactly what it says. It says people with displacement like to have their freedom of choice. This gives them even stronger abilities to think out, out of the box and in the end help reach pioneering ideas. If the opposite happens and they feel oppressed, they will not hesitate to break the rules and even do the opposite, exact opposite than the, than that which they were forced to do, even a visible demonstration of the rebellious nature. Yes, and that was something I did not touch upon, is that Aquarius can be quite rebellious. Although, I when I think of a rebellion, I think of fire energy um, and Aquarius is air energy. So I would say it's more what we would call um, being a contrarian, having to do the opposite of feeling compelled to do the opposite of what others are doing around them. So it makes no difference what, what is going on, whether you're talking about spiritual beliefs, um, political beliefs, th this person will take the opposite point of view and they may not even know it. Um, so to me, it's more of an intellectual thing than anything else, but I could see how the person would feel very strongly about having freedom of movement, freedom of thought, and anything that counters that can be quite um, upsetting. Uh, I, I want to talk about sun signs. If your sun sign is in fire or air, this will feed that um, desire for uh, complete freedom. And likewise, if, if uh, the person is kept back, in some way, they may feel very uh, oppressed, um, however, and then become very rebellious. But if the person, let's say the person is a, um, a Libra of all the air signs, I would say if the person is a Libra, they may, you know, feel this strong pull between being, you know, agreeable and a conformist with uh, societal societal norms or wanting to wear their freak flag, wave their freak flag and, and be different. If the person is a Capricorn, which rules tradition or a Cancer, some signs Taurus that tend to be more conservative, they may find within themselves a great um, split and that may you know, I, you would have to look at other factors like where is Jupiter, where is the sun, you know, these other inner planets, how are, how are they, you know, impacting things to get a, a, a good feel for that. But it can just show you 
all the possible things that can happen when you have um, the the sun kind of either cooperating with the Jupiter in Aquarius or countering it in some way. So um, one thing that I want to leave you with is that if you're looking to really take advantage of Jupiter in Aquarius, you're going to want to do things that are not just to have a material benefit, but that benefit um, or, or have like a personal benefit, like you get the glory, but that really uh, are to do it for the collective, do it for the group. Um, and do it with a group can even be great too. And that's where you find more of your bliss, more of your happiness, you know, well, that's bliss, right? But more of your growth, expansive qualities and luck or opportunities, however you wish to um, characterize that. And a sense of alignment, in other words, because this is really what you're all about. Okay, that's what I have for you. I hope that that resonated. If you'd like a personal reading, uh, like a natal chart interpretation, please visit my website, rainandmoonastrology.com. The link to my online store is below. Take care. Bye.